my shoes and everything. Look at the coat. Right guys, this is us at the start of day three now. Um, we didn't record much last night because we pushed on to Kytra. Hopefully that's how you say it right. But yeah, we pushed on to there and it was about 9.30pm before we got off the water. It was dark and stuff, so we just kind of get camp set up and get into bed pretty much and then got up early this morning. We tried to get up around 5am to get the we, some things to fix in the boat. Um, but... It was raining, so I think it was six thirty that we got up and did a couple of makeshift repairs on the boat. Um, and then we now have the option tonight of going down the river, which has the rapids in it, or going down the canal way. Um, but Chris and a lot of the other guys have never done the rapids before, so they're quite keen to do that there. Yeah. Um, so we're waiting. A couple of other guys pull in. A bit earlier last night, so we're waiting for them to come along and we will decide whether we'll go to the rapids. Uh, well, if not, if we do a canal, maybe a bit of back wind, get the seals up. Yeah, so. so well. But it's just a quick one for now. Whenever we get back in the water, we'll get some more footage again, guys. Alright, guys, see you. Watch, there's a rock under us here. Here? Should go over it, but. Aye. Are we on? We're falling this area down, yeah? Here. Tell me when he turned, Mark. Go. There. Right, they're both left there. Both left, so. Yep. Oh, Jesus, that was just... They're stuck. Right, Mark, there's a rock ahead here. If we both go right, go left or right, help. He turn his turn, turn, turn. Big rock. Right, turn his back. Right, 
Well, just let the water take us. Yep. Hey, paddle. Paddle. Get left there. Paddle. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. At this stage, naturally, the footage got slightly frantic. Uh, Chris and PJ hit the same route we hit. It was uh, a bad line, an experience, but we managed to stay in the boat, as you've seen, and they didn't, unfortunately. Immediately, immediately after the boat went over, uh, Sam and myself took our boat over to the AA on the right hand side and Sam got out with the throw line uh, to assist. But fortunately, the summer previous, we spent quite a lot of time falling in at the boat and doing recovery uh, in preparation for this trip. So both Chris and PJLO, not confident in the line, were confident in recovering the boat and bringing it safely under control themselves, as you can see in this footage. Brian, keep the hands up. Sexy. Perfect. Well done. Well done. <laughs> the rest of the river oik was pretty uneventful, and we both enjoyed the many rapids that followed, although not as big as the, the one that caught us out. This is where the Caledonian Canal came in and met the River Oik at the entrance to Loch Ness. And this is where we met the other guys who paddled the canal that day at Fort Augustus. No, no, I'm steering us in. Lift it up, lift it up. Fine, Jay. Fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the beauty is now, you don't have to paddle, Jay, mate. You don't have to paddle. <laughs> Who's at the front with him? Someone. Uh. I'm uh, just taking this here so I'll put, put the camera around. Well, the GoPro recording, is it? Yeah, the GoPro recording, yeah. Guys, everyone smile. I'm smiling, but no. Right, right hold on again. Yeah. Ah, I'm, not I'm not getting Brian. <laughs> <laughs>
Not quite blocked in us girls and boys. I'm just letting up yet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Chris got a kite, he thinks it's a kite. <laughs> well, if I grab it, right. Stop paddling, see what's. Pass me the cans! I'm going to buy that squeeze, I'm sure it was. Maybe grab a bit. Okay, right. There we go, there's a gust. Hey, you steer, Marlon. Oh, that's a good one, boys. Hang off the helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Boys, 3.8 mile an hour. <laughs> yes. 3.8, come on, 3.9. Come on. <laughs> Yo. Come on, come on, 3.8, come on. Four. Yes. Four mile an hour, boys. We paddled along. Loch Ness for five, six miles and stopped at this wonderful campsite for the night. Again, not much footage was taken the night after the adventures of the day. Videos and midges did not go hand in hand. Alright guys, we are now on day 4 morning, um, yesterday we we pushed on for around day 2 into Kytra and then a couple of guys slept in a different place enough so we kind of wasted that time in the morning but we done the rapids, uh, so we went down the river, Mark, myself, Chris and PJ um, Maybe by now in this stage of video, you've already seen the videos from that there, but if we're keeping it for there, then I'll not spoil it. Uh, it was good fun, a uh, bit more technical than I thought, but we get we get through it, okay, um, with a boat with minimum two holes that we that we know of that was leaking that we repaired with uh, some of our baler yesterday morning real quick. Um, held up okay, obviously, but the rapids is. Uh, tough enough on it, but yeah, we camped at Log Ness at the Noggy Trailblazer site, um, just up a bit, and it was quite spectacular views. So it was. Everyone's just getting cleared up there now. You can see there's Mark and PJ. Uh, yeah, so we really we got off the water a good time yesterday. I think for about five half five. Had good food. Good, good feed yesterday. We also stopped at Fort Augustus and had a chippy, which you know you can't you can't refuse like. And then we're just heading off a bit earlier tomorrow this morning and trying to make up some lost time. So we will check in later on and see if we were able to catch up that last time.
Ryan, fix your hair. <laughs> we stopped off on this beautiful little beach to have a, a quick lunch. It was signposted of one of Scotland's last ancient woodlands and protect it. So we just sat on the beach and made up some noodles etc and didn't intrude in the forest too much. Alright guys, as you can see, we're wrapped up to our with Chris and PJ. Uh, makes the, the vessel very, very stable. As you can see, I can turn around and talk to the camera without really any more any bother. We're just padding up the second half of Loch Ness now, so we are heading to, you won't be able to see it probably in the camera, but Urquhart Castle, just up in front of us. We're heading there now, so we are sending the drone up. And then we're going to try and paddle on to the end of the log tonight, so we are to make up for time yesterday. But look at that air wharf, look at the calm it is. We've got a headwind, but it's not blown too hard, it's not. But it's just so peaceful. It's so dead, there's not even a ripple in the water, so it's not. It's beautiful. Urquhart Castle is a Heritage Scotland site and you have to pay to come off the boats and walk around so, and also there's no drones allowed so we just moved on. After Urquhart Castle, uh, Loch Ness, the headwind got quite strong and actually quite choppy so it did. Uh, the only footage I actually got of that part of the trip actually was corrupted unfortunately uh, but to say the least it was a slog the whole way to the end of Loch Ness and it was a great relief to see the start of the Caledonian Canal Alright guys, we've had a long day, so we have, it's been 7 or 8 hours travel to get back, get back to the boat. We didn't quite have time to wrap this video up, or these videos potentially, up at the canal. Um, yeah, so just as always, thank you very much for watching the videos, uh, video or videos, um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I think we got some good footage this time, and uh, there was definitely some, definitely some good crack in there uh, along the way. Thanks guys. Cheers guys. <laughs>